flexibility of it most. I think I like the way I can take a piece of old lighting and get it restored so that it's useful in a modern home and that's very satisfying. It's recycling in the best possible way and I think it, it takes in all aspects of my life. Uh, the creativity of it, the fact that I'm reusing something, the fact that I can be in touch with people of like mind, um, it takes up my whole world. It's just something that I absolutely love doing. I chose to have a website because in the early days, not many people did. And because we were specialist dealers, we felt that it would be good for us. And it was absolutely the right decision. And I can't imagine life without it now. It's a bit like having a shop front. If you haven't got a shop, then you know, having a website in those days was essential. Um, it's even more essential now, but um, I think 80% of what we sell goes off the website. So having one is, is you know, is, well, it would be unthinkable not to have one. I like my website because it's easy to use. And that, for me, is the most important thing because we have a lot of stock and if a website is not easy to use, then it makes it a chore. Our website isn't a chore. It's quick. Uh, I can load stock myself very easily. And I'm quite old, so I don't take well to new technology, but I find it really easy to use. And the finished results when I've done it are good. I think for other antique dealers, it's very important that they have a website. But I also think it's no good just having a website and then never updating it, never making it better, never making any changes on it. Your website is like your shop front and you wouldn't dream of leaving your shop front the same for months or years on end. So why would you dream of leaving your website the same? Yes, it costs a bit of money, but so does renting a shop or so does changing your stock. It's all part of the cake and it's a slice that you need to keep updated. And uh, that would be my strongest advice to any antique dealer having a website. Make sure you update it and you add new stock regularly and that you go to PH9 and you use the latest technology that might be available. Social media is something that I've recently taken to and there are parts of social media which are relevant to the antiques industry and obviously the, the, the one at the moment which is the most popular is Instagram. Yes, I think Instagram needs to be used and I think it needs to be used on a daily basis if you're trying to sell something but it can only be used in conjunction with a website. It cannot be used on its own because you need the website to give it credibility. Well, we've worked with PH9 for many years now. I suppose it's probably about 15. And so when we first started, they were a very young company and we hadn't been in the antiques industry that long. Uh, I went to them because they are the people who will help us, who treats they treat us as individuals and each of our problems is specifically treated as our problem and not their problem and they help us out when we need it and that ethos is still good today, in fact it's better. They've grown as a company whilst we've grown as a company and I would never change and I think um, they have a lot of antique dealers on their books and that's good, it's an indicator of the fact that antique dealers find them easy to use, and so do we.